Today, I've got another really cool foot to show you. This one is referred to as the braiding foot in a lot of places. Some people call this the sequin foot or a trim foot. So I'm gonna show you how to sew three different types of trim with this cool new foot. So this foot has all these fun little spots on it. So you're gonna notice this little dial here. If we loosen it, we can move it. So we can actually put a trim under it. And if we flip it over, you're gonna see there's a special cutout in the back. And that special cutout is great for fitting a row of sequins in there. So check that out. That is gonna help us guide that sequin trim right down our project. It's also great for the braided trim and it's great for rickrack. So if you're using a braid, you can loosen this little screw and you can get it under the little plate there. And then we are going to just stick it into the opening of the machine here. We can go ahead and tighten it down just enough to keep it in place. We still want it to be able to move around. And we're gonna line it up with this little divot here in the foot. So this little divot's kind of where the needle is going to be. That's kind of like your center point, even though the needle is gonna be back here in the opening. It's a nice little guide for you. So we just tighten that down. And then when you sew, it's going to help keep that nice and straight for you. So the top of this foot is very useful for sewing on narrow trims, braids, rick racks, ribbons, grow grains, anything that is a narrow little trim that you can fit in the opening. This is gonna be a great foot for helping you guide and control the trim. Because when you're dealing with that small trim, it can be really hard to deal with and guide and get it to go where you want it to go, right? But with this foot, it's gonna help you. Now you know that you can put trims under the clamp, but what about the very top of the foot? There's that extra groove there. What can we do with that? Well, with this little groove here, we can lay a piece of small cording on it and then under this little bar here, and then under to the back of the machine. And that's gonna help guide a nice little piece of cording or yarn. And this foot just keeps on giving. We're gonna turn it over now and go over some of the ways you can use the bottom of the foot. On the back of the foot, we've got this wide, deep opening. And this one is going to be great for your rickrack trims. You can also put a flat, narrow braid in here. You can also fit a sequin trim in here. You could also put a little grow grain ribbon in there. You could put all different kinds of things that have some depth to them right in the bottom of this opening. So let's give this foot a test drive. On the top, I'm going to sew some yarn. On the next level, I'm going to be sewing some narrow braid. And on the bottom, I'm going to be using rickrack. So I've got my yarn in the guides and I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch to stitch this down. So this stitch can be really fun because you can get creative with it and create designs with your yarn. So you could make some curvy lines, you can come back this way, and it's going to keep it nice and guided in the foot. Back stitch at the bottom of your project and let's check it out. Check this out, this is pretty cool. I'm feeling pretty inspired here. I think this could also look really great with some decorative stitches on top of it. Now we're gonna try the top of the foot where the braid is clamped under this metal piece here. And I put a semi-decorative stitch on that looks like a little swirl. So this is looking really fun. And next time if I did it, I would use a contrasting thread so it gives it even more of a decorative element. So you can see how that helped us guide it and we did that fun decorative stitch on top of it. The bottom line is that it worked out great. Now I have the rick rack positioned under the foot in that little cutout opening and we are going to hopefully just guide it along. I'm gonna make sure I back stitch and then guide the trim where I would like it. I gotta say, that gave us a perfect stitch down the center of the rick rack. That might be my favorite one that we just did. Wasn't well, that foot really fun to try out? I know I'm feeling inspired. This is the first time I've ever used it. And I love the way this rick rack turned out. The stitch down the center is literally 
perfect. You've got to get up close and see this perfect stitch. I know you guys saw this before, but look at how perfect the stitch is down the center of the rickrack. I'm amazed. And obviously those aren't the only three kinds of trims you can use on this foot. This foot is so versatile. There are so many different options out there for you to be using this foot with all kinds of different trims. I know I'm feeling inspired to kind of take some yarn to some fabric and make some fun designs. Rick rack, braids, options are endless. It's time to get creative with textiles and trims. Would I recommend this foot? Definitely. Did I see it and buy it on a whim because I was like, what the heck is that foot? Definitely. And it's a great thing I did. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun learning about this braid foot with me. It was so fun for me, so inspiring. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I would love to know what other videos you would like to see in the future and what you thought of this video. If you're not already a subscriber to Soy Anastasia, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today and following Soy Anastasia. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, all the other social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you don't know, I teach sewing classes in my design studio back there. So check those out at sewingastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.